Alright, so I've established a connection to the printer. Um, in printer face, you can use whatever you want, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I've already homed this, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go G1 F60 Z0. That's just going to set it to 0, it already is, but that's 0 on the Z. Now I'm just going to go G1 F60 Z1. That will set it to one millimeter above the normal Z height. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick the paper under the nozzle. Here we go. I'll just move the Z a bit more. You can also do it up here. It actually won't show it because I've got the camera uh, pointing at the LCD, but you just need to go here. It will say one above this. And then what I'm going to do, I'll just keep clicking that until it moves it out of there. Alright, so now I'm going to go back down again. Right, that is way too tight on the paper. So I'm just going to keep clicking 0 0.1 until it starts moving up again. Now for this demonstration I am using a trusty BL touch as you can see here. Um, also if you end up getting a BL touch, please don't buy the clones. Support the real deal. You're doing nothing. Um, buying clones it's basically you're just getting a cheaper price but what does that good do so we just need to keep going up just clicking the up arrow turns out it's going the wrong way so I'll just quickly move it back up now I don't recommend doing this with your nozzle heated up, just in case uh, it ends up running right into the bed, but if you think you've already done it well, it's also good because with your nozzle heated up because you actually have to um, have it, uh, no plastic on the tip, so you can clean your nozzle beforehand or even just put a new nozzle in, because plastic on the tip can affect this value and it can stuff up your prints. So I'm just going to keep going up by 0 0.1 until it starts wiggling. Alright, now I'll keep going down until it's a bit tight. Right, a bit too tight there. Alright, that is good. It's just snug so I can move it back and forth. Not too badly though. So now we just need to read the value on the screen. For me, it is Z3.2. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to calibrate it to use that Z value. So, we're going to go M851 Z3.2. I believe you have to put a negative in front of that. I'll see. And then you're just going to go M500 to save it to the EEPROM. M501 to bring it up and it will say Z probe offset Z3.20 so if we go G1 F60 Z0 it's at 0 alright so that is how you calibrate your Z offset with a BL touch now you can as I said use this for other sensors like an inductive sensor I've seen like little mounts you can put on the side of here for the end of 3 um, but yeah, I recommend getting a normal BL touch. It just works the best. They're proven to be reliable and they're really easy to use. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 